infallible, incapable of making mistakes or being wrong, never failing, always effective. Well, so y'all infallible products are just real confident. We'll see about that. Hey beauties, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee Today. And today is Foundation Friday. And I'm pretty excited about this one because it's about one of my favorite brands, drugstore brands, which is the L'Oreal Infallible. Now you've probably seen this foundation. If you have oily skin, you've had to have heard of the Infallible Pro Matte Foundation because this is like an everybody's best foundation for oily skin video on YouTube. So this was like my first L'Oreal Infallible Love. And then they came out with the Infallible Total Cover. And this baby is full coverage. And then they came out with a primer and then a powder and then a translucent powder. And now the newest members to the family, the Infallible Up to 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation and the Infallible Full Wear Concealer. So these are the two new victims that I will be trying out in today's video. Now before I show you exactly how I applied this foundation to my face, let me tell you a little bit more about it. So this is one fluid ounces, like pretty much every foundation. I got the color 505, which is the color toffee. It's supposed to last up to 24 hours. It has sunscreen in it, SPF 25. Now I got mine from Rite Aid, but they are also available at Target for $11.99. Walmart says $11.97. Ulta Beauty says $14.99, so it kind of ranges by a couple bucks depending on where you go, but definitely like in the drugstore price range. And now I'm quickly realizing that I think I personally paid too much. So the Infallible Freshwear Foundation does have 30 shades, but as you can see, there is a lot in the pale section, not too many browns, only three really dark shades. So I'm this color right here, so that means there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shades darker than my skin tone, but 21 shades lighter than my skin tone. Apparently this foundation also has some oil absorbers. It's supposed to absorb sweat, water, and not transfer. We'll see how I look at the end of this video. Now the infallible full wear concealer. I am pretty picky on my concealer, so this is gonna be a big one. According to the L'Oreal website, it's $12.99. It's probably cheaper in other drugstores. This one has 25 Full shades. All right, that's enough of the information. I know you guys want to see how it went on. So without further ado, let me show you exactly how I applied the 24 hour fresh wear infallible foundation and the infallible full wear concealer. All right, let's do this. I am fresh out the shower, as you could see from my still dripping wet hair, which may or may not still be wet by the end of this video. But I am starting off on a clean face. I just added a little bit of my DHC Super Collagen Moisturizer, so I'm ready to go. But now I'm gonna start off with a primer, obviously. So I decided to keep it in the family, and I got the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Lock Primer. I got this a while ago. I can't say I was really blown away, but I don't know. Let's see how it does with the matching infallible foundation. All right, skin is prepped with the primer. Now let's grab the foundation. This is the color Toffee, number 505. It has a little red top and a pump that you push down to dispense. I'm grabbing my beauty blender. Let's see how much one drop goes and let's also check on this color. Not bad. That seems to be a really good match. I like it. This foundation actually smells good, like a perfume type of scent. So if you don't like scents, you might not like it, but if you do, I think it smells really good. So for a comparison, here's the side with the foundation, here's the side without. That's a pretty good match. It's very lightweight. It kind of makes you want to add a little bit more to get more coverage, but we'll see. Add like another a little bit larger pump for this side. All right, there's my full face of just the foundation all on its own. It is very lightweight, more of a liquid type consistency. I kind of was expecting it to be a little bit creamier like the original Infallible Matte Foundation. I think I could get a little bit more coverage on this side. Let me just see what that looks like. Let me just add a little bit more. Yeah, it's very kind of watery. 
As some of you may know, I am someone that's always dealt with very oily, acne-prone skin. Back when I had like cystic acne, I would use the Infallible and it did give me a lot of great coverage. I don't know if this foundation would satisfy me back when I had a lot of acne. I think it's working now because my skin is more clear. But um, let's see how it looks with the full face. But before I snap on my whole face, I actually also bought the Infallible Full Wear Concealer. It turns out I bought the toffee color in foundation and the toffee in the concealer. And I usually like to go a little bit lighter for my concealer. But this one did look lighter, but maybe it's not. Let's see how this looks. Ooh, I do like this really thick wand. That should make it apply really easily. Now this is nice and creamy. This will definitely give you more coverage than the foundation. I like how it's applying, it just sweeps on. But one thing that we really need to talk about, this is lighter than my foundation. So even though they have the same name, they are definitely not the same color. Okay, I really like this concealer. I'm getting great coverage. I love the consistency of it. It's nice and creamy. It spreads on very easily. It blended nicely. And I do like the idea of making it easier to figure out what highlight shade you should use by just having it be the same name as your foundation. If you don't usually go for a brighter color under your eyes and you want a concealer that's the exact same color, that's one thing that's a little bit more confusing because you're probably gonna have to go like a shade up to have it really match your skin tone. Now I also have the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Sweep and Lock Translucent Setting Powder. I tried to use this for a while, but I do think this gives you a little bit of a flashback. So if you take a picture with flash, you're gonna see the white and that's not a good thing. But if you're not taking photos, then it probably will work just fine. So I learned that the hard way. I can't wear this when I wanna take photos, which is kind of every day, but for the sake of this video, I will try it again and we'll see how it looks. So I'm gonna get my beauty blender, dab it on there, and let's set this concealer. It's a very fine powder. So here's the side that's set versus the side that's not. I do really like how it looks, it's just very unfortunate about that whole flashback situation. And to take things one step further, I didn't realize how many L'Oreal Infallible things I bought, but because I love that foundation so much, I just kind of instantly trusted the rest of the line. But I do have the Infallible Pro Matte 16 Hour Powder. This is the color Classic Tan. I think I got this last summer. It might be too dark for me now. I'm still getting over my winter shade. But let's see how this looks. If it bronze me up a little bit. works. Alright, so here's my infallible face using the primer, the foundation, the concealer, the translucent powder, and their setting powder. So now I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face. Oh, I need fingers to snap. And we're back. I know my face and hair transformation is pretty insane. But this is now my complete face with all my infallible products added on some eyes and some lips some highlight all that jazz This foundation did go on at 2 p.m. It is now currently 4 o'clock now that my hair is dried and everything else I had to do to this face So right now you're already looking at two hours of wear Not bad. I can't say that I'm matte but I also can't say that it's claiming to be matte. It's just an up to 24 hour fresh wear and I think that's true It's giving me a very fresh healthy look. Not extremely matte, not extremely dewy, just fresh. So I'm going to continue to wear this makeup for a couple more hours, come back and show you exactly how well this foundation does on my oily skin. And I'm back, it is now 10.30 p.m. So I've had this foundation for just about eight hours. I didn't think I was gonna make a full 24, but here we are. So. Under these bright lights, per usual, I do look shinier than I thought I did in the rest of like the real world. But um, yeah, I'm pretty shiny, both sides of my cheek and my forehead. I did lose a little bit of coverage on my chin. Not feeling as fresh as I was earlier, but let's go ahead and grab my oil absorbing sheets and remove some of this oil to see how it looks. Now this is also claiming to be transfer 
proof or transfer resistant. Hmm. So here is all the oil I removed. There really isn't that much foundation on here, so the transfer part might be somewhat true because I don't see like big blobs of brown. I do see a little bit, but not as much as I usually do when something does transfer. I don't think the coverage is gonna last all day if you're looking for coverage. I do think my concealer has really stayed intact. There's a little bit of creasing up here, but that could be because of the powder. Now, like I mentioned, I have been using this foundation for a couple days now, and the first time I used it, I used a different primer. I believe it was CoverGirl, and I really, really, really loved how it looked initially. I'm not really a fan of the Infallible Pro Matte Primer, so I am gonna give partial credit to me being, credit's not the right word, it has to be like a negative connotation. Blame, I do wanna give some of the blame of my shininess to the primer. Overall, I do think this is a very like chill, lightweight foundation. If you don't want it to be matte, you don't want it to be full coverage, you just want it to look like normal, it's good. I'd only wear it for a couple hours. I probably wouldn't wear this for like a go-to all day just because I do have such oily, acne-prone skin. I will continue to use this foundation throughout the week, so make sure you follow me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee, and I'll show you how the foundation looks when I use a different primer, and then I'll also show you how the concealer works when I set it with a different powder. What is your favorite infallible foundation? Do you like the fresh wear? Do you like the total cover? Do you like the matte, or do you like the dewy? Leave a comment and let us know. If you enjoyed this video, there's plenty more where that came from. I do foundation and fashion on Fridays, and I do curly hair tutorials and other helpful tips on Sundays. You get two videos a week, so you might as well hit that little bell so you're notified so you don't miss another video. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.